Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this social media overlay in After Effects. It is very easy to create and you can use it on top of your video footage or wherever you want. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate. You can go with 30 or 60, whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create a solid. So right click new solid and let's call this BG for background and let's change its color to something like white. Let's go with this color. Just click on OK. Now make sure none of the layer is selected and after that you can just simply double click on this rectangle tool and you can see that it will create a rectangle of the full size. Now we can select this layer and we can select the pan anchor tool. After that hold down the control key and you can drag the anchor point to this side and now let's select the layer press S for scale. We can uncheck these and let's set the scale to something like 10 or 15 whatever you want. Let's go with 10. After that, we can select this layer and let's apply fill to this as well. And let's change its color. So I'm going to make this little bit darker, something like this. Just click on OK. So this is going to act as a reference for us. After that, we can again select the rectangle tool and we can just simply double click. Just make sure you are inside the comp. Just double click so that it will create a rectangle. Then search for size and let's uncheck these. And after that, let's type 800 by 200. After that, you can click on the rectangle path, right click and let's convert this to Bezier path. Now we can individually move these endpoints, something like this. And let's quickly align them. So first, let's enable the grid so that I can just simply select these points and let's move it to somewhere around here. And let's move this to somewhere around here. After that, we can select these two endpoints. Just make sure to hold down the shift key so that these two points are selected at once. Then you can drag them closer. However you want. Just like this. Now I think this is a little bit bigger. So let's select these endpoints and let's move them closer. And we can do the same thing with these as well. Just like that. Now. We can select this layer and let's just align it to the edge side. So for that, we can use the align panel. Just click over here. If you're not able to see this align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's disable our grid and let's quickly set this up. So I'm going to again select the pen tool and let's select the shape and I'm going to align these with this line. So just zoom in and just align it with this line something like this after that you can go ahead and play around with these edges so let's make this smaller and let's make this a little bit bigger so i think this shape is looking fine we can probably select this endpoint and let's move move it somewhere around here and let's increase this yeah i think this is looking good now we can select the layer and we can press ctrl d to duplicate it after that, we can select the top layer and I'm going to quickly select these points and I'm going to just move them somewhere around here. And now let's enable the rulers. So press Ctrl R for rulers. And after that, we can just simply add the rulers and let's align them over here. And let's add one more and align it onto this point. Something like this. Now we can easily grab these points and hold down the control key and you can see that it will snap to the ruler and let's do the same thing over here as well. After that we can add one more so that we can align them vertically as well. So let's align these points over here. So now you can see we have this shape. Now let's add one more ruler and let's place it somewhere in the middle. Something like this. Now we can probably zoom in and you can play around with its position you don't have to be precise now just randomly pick some points over here let's click 
over here and let's add a point over here as well and let's add a point in the middle so that we can create this sort of shape something like this now we are pretty much done with it and let me just quickly animate these so first we are going to animate this part so let's select this and let's search for path and let's add a keyframe in the beginning and let's move this keyframe to somewhere around one second and in the beginning i'm going to select these points and i'm going to just simply match them to these so just drag this point and just match it with this point something like this and do the same thing with this point as well just grab it and match it with this point now you have this sort of animation and let's do the same thing with this one and let's select this layer and let's search for path add a keyframe move this ahead and now let's select this first i'm going to quickly select this point and let's align it with this line after that we can select these points so hold on the shift key and just keep on clicking on these points so that all the points are selected after that you can just simply move them and just align them with these points over here something like this you don't have to be precise yeah, i think this is looking fine so now let's quickly see what we have created so you can see that we have this sort of animations first the side will come down and after that we have this animation so we can select these press f9 to ease them or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease and let's go to the graph and we are going to change the graph of these so let me just first grab these points and let's make the graph to look something like this and let's select the second point and i'm going to change the graph to look something like this for this one just like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really amazing animation which is exactly what we want now let's go back from the graph editor and let's add some colors to this so first i'm going to select this and let's drag fill to this and let's pick a nice facebook color so yeah i think this is looking good now just simply copy this and just paste it onto this after that you can select the top layer and let's search for exposure effect just drag it onto this layer and let's increase the exposure a little bit something like this so that you can see we have this really nice edge over here just like that you can probably disable these layers for now in order to see this edge it's completely up to you you can increase the color however you want to make the edge more prominent yeah i think this is looking fine so there you go you have your animation now let's quickly add our text so select the text tool and you can type whatever you want let's add our social so motion nations and let me just quickly select this and we can scale this down and just simply place it somewhere around here you can also add icon if you want so i have already downloaded some icons so let me just quickly grab this and let's scale this down let's place it somewhere around here so i think this is looking good now you can select these two and let's pre-compose them and let's call this facebook after that we can select the top layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's place it on top of it let's select this and let's change it track mat to all format if you're not able to see the track mat option then you can click over here and now if i play back here you can see that our text will be visible only when this animation occurs and if you want to change the text then you can again go inside the comp and from here you can change the text however you want let me just quickly scale this up a little bit and let's place it somewhere around here so i think this is looking good so we are done with this and if you want to create more of these all you have to do is just simply select all of these layers and let me just quickly color code them so let's call make them brown and let's press ctrl d to duplicate them and i'm going to move them to the top and let's change their color so that we can distinguish between them let's make them green and after that we can select all of these layers and let's move them a little bit below just so that this edge is barely touching it something like this and after that we can just tweak a couple of these settings so first i'm going to select this 
and we are going to change it so select this press u and i'm going to just remove the keyframes and let's make the shape proper so just select this endpoint and let's move it somewhere around here and let's place it something like this we can probably move all of these layers below these and let's quickly change the color so on this one i'm going to make this red for youtube so just copy this and just paste it onto this layer as well so there you go now we have this layer and again we can animate it by simply selecting the path and adding a keyframe and in the beginning we can just simply match these points with them so just drag them and let's match them over here something like this you can zoom it for position just like that again let's select these press f9 to ease them then just change the graph to look something like this let's go back so if i play back here you can see we have created this animation now let me just quickly change the text so you can select the layer in the projects panel and press ctrl d to duplicate it let me just quickly open this up and you can change this to whatever you want and let me just change the logo first so let's drag the youtube logo and i'm going to make this smaller and let's place it over here we can probably delete the facebook logo and i think this is good so we can go back to the main just select this facebook and hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac then just simply drag and drop this comp and it will replace it with the new comp there you go now we have this animation so in the same way you can add multiple layers and you can have any number of social medias to this and there's one more thing that you can do you can select this layer which is the shape layer and on top of it you can apply a drop shadow effect so just search for it and let's apply it and let's play around a couple of these settings first increase the softness and i'm going to quickly change the angle to lower and let's increase the distance something like this you can probably decrease the shadow opacity something like this after that you can copy this and just simply paste it onto this layer and on these two layers as well so there you go now we have this really amazing overlay we can probably get rid of all of these rulers and if i zoom in here you can see we have created this really amazing animation so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one